In the last lesson, we were looking at using transistors uh, in saturation as current source loads for amplifiers. One of the things that we noticed is that when we do this, we have to generate a bias voltage. So looking at one of the amplifiers that we looked at, we have an NMOS transistor where we're putting the input on the gate and we're taking the output from the drain. And then we had this PMOS transistor acting as a current source and we had to put a bias voltage VB on the gate of that PMOS transistor. So this is a common source amplifier. with a PMOS current load, current source load. So one thing that we might want to look at is how do we actually generate bias voltages like VB? And we're going to specifically ask how do we do this with a transistor? And what we're going to do is what we call a replica bias. And in order to do uh, this, we're going to first generate a desired current. We're going to push that current through a transistor. We're going to use a stable voltage from the transistor as a bias voltage. And our stable voltages in our transistors are voltages such as VGS for a MOS transistor or VBE for a bipolar transistor. Remember, VBE is approximately 0.7 volts and it doesn't vary very much depend, uh, no matter uh, what the current flowing through the transistor is. So it's very stable with respect to current. Similarly, VGS does not vary uh, much with respect to a current flowing through the device. So one approach that we might take is if we know what the voltages are across the resistance and we can define a current. So for instance, we can place a resistor with a value of R and if we know the value VDD at the top of the resistor and we have some other value such as a VBE at the bottom of the resistor, then we would by definition know what the current flowing through the resistor is. And this is what we're going to do with our transistor case. We're going to take a resistor, tie it to the drain of a diode connected in MOS transistor. And generate that VB. So here we note that our I ref, the reference current, is just equal to the drain current of the MOS device, ID. And of course we have our well-defined voltage, VGS, from the device. Now remember the reason that we can do this is that a diode-connected transistor is always in saturation or forward active region if it's a bipolar transistor.
Okay, so we can figure out what our reference current is uh, above from the, or from the following equation. I ref is equal to mu n C ox times, or divided by 2 times W over L of the transistor times VGS minus VT squared. And we know that VGS is simply equal to VB in this case. So here we can either choose a VB that we'd like to operate at and uh, from there uh, choose a, a necessary resistance or we can choose the, the reference current uh, to set the uh, desired uh, volt uh, bias voltage. In the next part of the lesson, we're going to look at applying this uh, to a current mirror. And of course, you've already seen a current mirror in your first lab, so this should be quite familiar. We will look at uh, specifically MOS current mirrors, but uh, they operate very similarly uh, functionally to BJT current mirrors.